I was really, really happy and um, yeah, it was just, I said in my speech that I used to be the press assistant of the National Theatre before I became a director, so it's a real, feels like coming full circle going to walk on Rufus tonight, so <laughs> I'm delighted and um, it was a challenging process in many ways, not least because I had to step in just a week before rehearsal started, so it's been a bonkers year, but I feel, um, I feel very proud of myself and proud of the whole company and team who put it together, so I'm, I'm overjoyed. Really. It's changing now, but I think it used to be the assistant directors were often, often going to unpaid jobs, and I think it's good that that's moving on so they're not unpaid anymore, because it's very hard to be a director, and um, it's very lonely often, and like it's... Um, so any sort of business and director schemes, like I think organisations like the JMK or RITDS are doing brilliant work and just being a network for directors to come together and, and talk because it's it can, one of the most, for me at least, one of the most difficult things is how lonely it is. But, um, I've been very lucky that I've been training at the Royal Exchange in Manchester for a long time and they've been a real support and have really contributed to my development and to my education as a director. The fact that this award is given for, for a show that was that, that took place in Manchester, and if you look at the other nominees in this category, they're all over the country. I think it's absolutely fantastic that the stage focuses nationwide. All the other awards uh, that we see in London are for London only, and this is not. Uh, this is not an industry that exists in London only. It's a, it's a nationwide industry, um, and there's, there's brilliant work going on all over the nation. So I think it's, I think it's really fantastic. Um, to, in this case, to see an, an award going to somebody who made a show in Manchester, but generally speaking, to look at the whole country. It's a brilliant resource for, keep, for keeping, for being, feeling like you're plugged into the industry, um, learning what's going on. Um, I think, I think initiatives like this are so helpful for people who just um, kind of starting out, and because I think it means that. You always feel like there's a support behind you. Like, I think they've the stage off that really well. And also for me, as also coming having worked in press and PR beforehand, like <laughs> I've kind of seen both sides of, um, and I realise how integral uh, publications like the stage are actually for the image of a theatre and how, and how a theatre can can present itself to the world. That collaboration is really key. I actually think that the, the stage is, has become far more relevant in recent years. I think the fact that they've, that they've made it their business to champion certain issues, uh, in some ways to be a more mission-led uh, institution, I think is a great thing. And uh, the fact that they're, that they're reviewing uh, immediately and getting out there straight away means that it's like you say, it's a resource in lots of uh, lots of different ways. So now you can you can look to the stage for really intelligent discussion about all of the issues, not just who's in what and what shows happening, but but actually as as the arts, um, I feel have more and more to say and to contribute in this particularly uh, tumultuous time in in our national history. Uh, it's fantastic to have a newspaper um, like the stage that is, that is uh, really, I would say, on the money. It's not about being on the money, it's about being on the mission.